Hello, I'm Rebecca. Today we're going to get down to the basics and talk about the simplest of all options trades, the purchasing of a call option. Now those Wall Street guys want you to think that this stuff is really complicated so that you'll pay them fat commissions to do it for you so that they in turn can pay off the loans on their beamers. But trust me, I'll show you that you can understand a call option by doing your homework. With a call option, you're buying the right to purchase a stock at a specific price at some time in the future and prior to expiration of the option. That price is called the strike price. Basically with this trade, you are bullish on a particular stock. In other words, you think that the price of the stock is going to go up, but you want to get in with a minimal investment. You can potentially get more upside with less money down. Do I sound like a car salesman? Well, here's how it works. If the underlying stock goes up, your gain is leveraged and theoretically unlimited. Now even if the underlying stock goes down to zero, you'll never lose more than the amount you paid for the option plus commissions. Here's an example. Now let's say you think a stock is a really hot buy and so you want to buy an at the money call option, meaning that you're buying an option with a strike at or near the current price. Now let's say the stock is trading at $10 a share. You can buy 100 shares of that stock at $10 a share for a total investment of $1,000. Now let's say the stock goes up $2 to $12. You're making a 20% return, or $200. But let's say you don't have or you don't want to invest $1,000 right off the bat. You can buy a single call option, which gives you the right to buy 100 shares of that same stock with a strike price at $10 a share at some time in the future. Now let's say the option is priced at $1. You multiply this price by 100 to get the cost of the trade, since each option contract controls 100 shares of stock. In this case, the cost is $100 plus commissions. Are you with me? Now you have the right to buy 100 shares of stock at $10. Now let's say that stock goes up to $12. You can cash in those options and make $200 minus the original $100 investment. So now you're up $100 net of commissions. But since you only invested $100 in the beginning, you're up 100% minus commissions. But make no mistake about it. Buying a call option is a short-term strategy and involves risk. If the stock goes down or does not go up by the expiration date, you could lose 100% of your initial investment, which in this case is $100 plus commissions. But hey, that's probably less than what you spent on gas last week. Now of course you'll need to factor trading commissions into these examples, as they will reduce your returns. So why can this be a good trade? Well, for three reasons. First, it's easy to trade. You only have to trade a single call option to execute it. Secondly, with the long call, you have limited downside exposure. You can never lose more than the amount you paid for the option. And thirdly, it's a leverage trade, meaning that if you're right in your prediction about the movement of the stock in the short term, your gain can be substantial relative to the amount of money that you risk on that trade. If you want to learn more, check out the educational resources available at the Zecco Options Learning Center. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.